stainless steel was invented in the early part of the 20th century. The key ingredient is chrome, which forms a protective oxide film on the surface. Originally, people were amazed that cutlery made from it didn't need to be polished. Called non-rusting steel, it was the talk of the dinner table. Stainless steel can be made to look shiny and new, even when they start with scrap. They recycle stainless steel, giving old sinks, pots and a whole range of other things a new lease of life. They feed tons of scrap steel into a roaring furnace, along with chrome and nickel alloys for added strength and rust proofing. Enormous electrodes heat the mix to melting point and the show rivals a firework display. After several hours, the molten mix goes into a refining furnace. Pipes blast argon gas and oxygen up through it. This converts some impurities to gas and causes others to float to the surface so they can be removed. A technician checks the temperature and takes samples to make sure the chemistry is right. They add scrap to bulk up the mix as it melts. The scrap also causes a chemical reaction that helps to fuel the refiner. The bubbling steel soup now flows out of the refining furnace and rollers guide it as it's cast into a long mould. The result is a 70 metre long ribbon of steel. Torches cut it to shorter chunks called slabs. A worker writes identification information on each one using chalk that works on hot surfaces. They hoist the slabs over to another station to await further processing. After this break in production, they reheat the slabs to soften them up. A rusty scale has accumulated on the surface of the steel. They pressure wash it away without cooling the hot metal. Now the slab shoots back and forth through a machine with rollers. A constant spray cools the rollers as they stretch the steel longer and thinner. It's now over 600 meters long. They spray water on the stretched steel to cool it a little, but not too much because it needs to be soft and flexible enough for coiling. This spool coils the strip tightly, like a roll of toilet paper. Then they transfer the roll of steel to another station. Here the steel goes into a hot acid wash that removes scale that's built up since the last cleaning. Burners in this machine also heat the steel and then slowly cool it. This relieves stress in the metal, softening it for further processing. They now unwind the steel into a machine that rolls it thinner so that it's exactly what the customer ordered. Rolling the metal when it's cold also causes it to harden and makes the surface pores close so it shines. One last cleaning and the stainless steel strips look spectacular. The chrome in the steel combines with oxygen in the atmosphere to form that oxide film that prevents it from rusting. Finally, rotating knives trim the edges and slit the steel to various widths, again to meet customer specifications. The job is now done and it's a brilliant finish. Indeed.